Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. This is episode 9 where last time we journeyed to Ilium and we are still here because there's a lot to do. There's a lot going on on Ilium but most importantly we reunited with Liara to Sony uh, and we also did Miranda's loyalty mission. Now what you will notice is we are in the office with Liara once again because what I have noticed, it was pointed out uh, in a uh, comment section of episode 7, is um, unfortunately too little too late because I had already recorded episode 8, uh, was the Lair of the Shadow Broker. If you select that mission, it actually removes the previous mission that Liara gives you. Um, so that's unfortunate uh, that it does that. It automatically completes the mission. So what we've done is I have reloaded a previous save just to play this mission so we can experience it together so I can go through it and then I will reload my prime save game where it's automatically completed and we can continue with the story. I just don't want to skip over a mission whether it's like something that's kind of like running around and hacking some terminals or not. I still think it'll be it'll be worth doing. Uh, so that is why we're currently uh, in this situation. So we're going to play that and then we will uh, go back to where we were before, which was after completing uh, Miranda's loyalty mission. And uh, just quickly, guys, I want to mention as well is um, in terms of in terms of comments, I I talk a lot about this game and how much I love the world and I love the writing and the dialogue and like how these characters interact and how alive this game feels, how alive this world feels. Uh, talk to me. Talk to me about that. I would love engagement in the comment section of like your first experiences, like your struggles, what you like missed on a playthrough, what you picked up on a playthrough. Like talk to me about stuff that's like relevant to the episode that's like just happened um, and and how you feel about that. Because I would love that type of engagement. I would love that like sort of positive talk about uh, about Mass Effect 2 specifically because like I, I really do make an effort to like talk about what I'm really like appreciating and enjoying and I would love that. I would love that interaction because un unfortunately like the reality of the situation is my comment section for mass effect 2 specifically is 95 percent backseating and do this do that which is disheartening uh because ultimately that's kind of not what i like to check up on when i like i want to see if you guys are in enjoying it and like you're enjoying like my experience with the dialogue and my thoughts and feelings like i i understand that watching someone play the game for the first time can be hard especially when you know what to do um but put yourself in my shoes that i don't know what to do uh, especially when it's like come on man all you needed to do was take miranda and it's just like Come on, man! I don't know what to expect. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's 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 hard. So let's 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 keep it positive because, like, guys, I'm really trying a lot in this in this series and and really making an effort to show you that it's like I'm I'm invested in in the game and the world to even like reload a save just to experience a mission that was auto completed. You know, and um, I I think I've I like to think that I've come a long way at least from the beginning of Mass Effect One of like learning this game and I do state that like the thing that I enjoy the most about this game is not the like the gameplay combat stuff while it is far more enjoyable in this game than it was in Mass Effect 1. It's not my favorite part of the game. My favorite part of the game is interacting with characters, taking in the world, exploring this universe. Um, so when my comment section is 95% gameplay combat advice focused, that's not what I like to really engage with. And I'd really love to engage with you positively. So that's like from the heart, I love this game. I know you love this game. Let's talk about what we love about the game because I think that would ultimately have me experience this game in a more of a positive light you know like i want to share this with you and that's why i do let's plays on youtube it's like i really want to share my experience with you in a positive way and uh you know just my passion for gaming has never faltered and that's why that's why i think that like i really enjoy doing this at the end of the day and i'd love another positive part of that to be our interactions because you know, I make these videos to share with you guys and you share me with me your thoughts and feelings and I'd love for that to be a positive experience. And um, I do apologize to those of you who don't want to hear this at the beginning of an episode, but it really is communicating to to most of you that I'm like, hey, like, I'm really, I'm really committed to, to this game series and I love it a lot and I want to have a positive time uh, with all of us. And with that being said, I'm now going to proceed with the mission of hacking the terminals uh, and enjoying my time in Mass Effect 2, okay? <laughs> Take 
Now, I don't know what the security terminals look like, but I'm going to assume that they would be like some sort of... It's not this, because this isn't highlighted, but it's going to be something uh, computer related. So I'll have a look around. I think I have some sort of idea. Um, but because this is mainly running around and exploring to kind of find something, um, it might be this, or is this the news? No, that's galactic news. Something will highlight, but I'm thinking what I might do. I'm thinking what I might do is run around and explore, find these terminals and, uh, and get them done. And then, and then see how we go from there. Because the, the journal entry is find security terminals, hack them, then locate the nearby vulnerable data and upload it to Liara. So I will run around a little bit aimlessly um, until I figure out where these nodes are. Alright, got our first terminal to hack. going to be any one of these. There we go. Nice. Cool. Okay, so files removed, full access granted. Oh, use the distance meter to locate. Just, we're looking for weapons. Maybe a shirt. Oh, uh, that or thing? Card. There it is. Vulnerable you're system. The... Hey, you're blue shifting already. That's funny, right? A sorry skin color and the Doppler effect? Dad, just get her anything. Or don't. Okay. So, I guess we have to find multiple... Okay, so that must mean whenever we see one of those... Oh, hang on. There's another one here. Never mind. My previous thought. Alright, let's have a look. Eclipse oh, might be fun for you. Okay. For me, it's the future. My clan's breeding strategy is at stake. This one? I don't know. That still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. There All the is. dangers are right there on the package. It's legally required. Who reads labels, though? So consider it a way to weed out the people too stupid to. Oh, so it's all in the same area. Looking for a green line. Waiting for a green line at the top. There it is. Oh, cool, it's right there. She's the last of a dying breed. Won't be many pure blood Asari left in a few generations. It's not this? Oh god, it's not that. No, oh, it's this. This is Liara. Pure bloods are a waste of genetic potential. Oh, it just fucking. STOP TALKING! Uh, sorry! You just ruined Liara's dialogue. <laughs> right, report to Liara. Shepard, I- Oh, sorry, the other Asari are talking and that takes precedence. <laughs> this is the- this is the semi-negative part about Ilium's constant talking. Is, interestingly enough, uh, Liara's dialogue does not, like, overwrite everything else. So much advertisements and people talking, and it's so, like, it's realistic. Everyone's talking at once. It's a busy place, but it would be nice if Liara's dialogue actually continued. <laughs> I was like, okay. Alright, now let's chat to her. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Thank you for getting me that system data. Here, it's not much. But hopefully it will help you on your mission. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? With the data you got me, I made mm. information caches from his agents. So these missions we're doing are relevant to the Shadow Broker, and then the DLC mission is to then, like, kind of proceed with this, I guess, which is probably why the mission's autocomplete. This is probably why uh, the mission's autocomplete, is because technically you're doing... A mission that's set after them, which is going to go after the Shadow Broker. So that's information. That's uh, interesting. I've got a lot on my plate. Remind me who the Shadow Broker is. 
He's the most powerful and dangerous information broker in the galaxy. No one knows who he is. Given his resources, there's speculation he may actually be a group operating under one name. Interesting. Are you on the run from the Shadow Broker? I can help you. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that the Shadow Broker is on the run from me. Ooh. We crossed paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. Liara. Good luck with your plan. <laughs> you're obsessed. You can't come with me because you're after the Shadow Broker? What if I help you find him? I'm sorry, Shepard. The galaxy doesn't work that way. I need to find leads, trace information. I need to work. I can't do that on the Normandy. I wish I could. I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. What did the Shadow Broker do to you? I was on a job with a friend. She keeps standing up. <laughs> People caught us. My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated. But I need to find him. I owe him my life. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. Ah, oh, this is like the, um... Oh, I get it. So this is that person. Because last episode we did, let's go get the Shadow Broker. And it does the thing where it's that dude on the, on the iPad, right? Um, so this is who she's talking about. This person then. She's like, I spent all this time plotting revenge and now it's a rescue. So we're seeing like, sort of like the pre, the events that take place before that, which is cool. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I will. Thanks, Shepard. I will. Is there anything else I can help you with? Let's go get the Shadow Breaker. <laughs> do you see how you get tricked there? That's such a trap. Talk to Liara later and see if she other has any problems that require assistance. Um, so it's literally, so it's kind of like, I have to wait, uh, which is very interesting. But what I find funny is that it's su that dialogue option is such a trap for, especially this conversation when she's talking about the Shadow Broker, and you go, well, let's go get the Shadow Broker. Triggers DLC mission. Shepard, it's good to see you again. So... What can I do for you? How's your own work going? The data you gave me was extremely helpful. It gave me a target. The Shadow Broker has several contacts here on Ilium. Nice. The most powerful is someone called the Observer. Taking down the Observer will put me closer to the Shadow Broker. I could use your help. This is garbage. Why would I say that? <laughs> <laughs> this is garbage, Liara. Um, also, I realized that uh, after running around for a bit, I was like, I feel like maybe we just have to talk to Liara again to trigger the mission, and I was correct. So I just had to walk back in here and go, Hey, Liara, is it later yet? <laughs> Tell me what I can do to help. Your data pointed me at logs kept by Shadow Broker agents. The logs were deleted, but it may be possible to reconstruct some of it. The Shadow Broker is cautious. His agents are referred to only by their title and race. My inquiries ah. have narrowed the Observer down to one of five operatives. A Turian, a Salarian, a Krogan, a Batarian, and a Vorcha. If you can refine the list, I'll know where to strike. Interesting. Why is the Paragon option, I won't do this? Not Paragon option, but the the one at the top is usually the, the good, good option. And the one on the bottom is usually the negative option why is i won't do that's really strange i guess it is a renegade option because when we did the when we hacked into the terminals to give liara information we did get renegade points it's it's like a weird gray area right it's it's very strange that this is like a renegade mission for liara but i guess at the same time it does make sense considering liara's like when we walk in on her she's in a phone call being like i will flay you with my mind <laughs> so it's it's very it's very interesting to be like liara's kind of in like this weird state and i think that's me adjusting to the fact that when we last saw liara she was very good very wholesome and now she's like in a different state of mind two years later so I think I'm just like adjusting to that in real time of being like, oh, we're getting renegade points for like helping Liara, which is strange. Do you have any specifics on these agents? I'm afraid not. Nixeris was lucky to get as much as she did. I was happy to help, ma'am. 
The data is our only hope of determining which one is the observer. And if we wait too long, they'll all disappear. Let me go talk to these people. I'll get the name you need. This is a delicate operation, Shepard. If you shake down one agent, the others will go to ground, and my chance will be lost. Liara is right. We need to get enough evidence to strike. And we need it soon. I'm more than capable of handling the violence, Shepard. I need your help gathering the data. I'll reconstruct the data and tell you what I find. Thank you, Shepard. When you find something, call me on the radio channel we used in the old days. <clears throat> I can't risk handling this in person. Okay. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Find data fragments on hackable terminals around Ilium. See, this is worth doing. This is worth doing to me for the dialogue alone, like the additional dialogue that we get from Liara. Not the actual gameplay of hacking terminals, but um, actually getting like this interesting dialogue from Liara makes uh, reloading the save entirely, entirely worth it. Oh! <laughs> I accidentally went onto a bad panel. I went onto a bad panel. God, I've just like, I just totally messed up and then I, I, I choked. I choked! I'm not even a master hacker anymore. Got it. <laughs> I'm in! I was building tension on purpose. Data point five. Vorcha Trader has requested no further contact with the Salarian. Salarian is becoming more trouble than he is worth. Observer recommends a kill, but she may have a grudge. Oh, we have to do clues, and then you can call Liara for each data point. Shepard, did you get any information on the observer? <laughs> Kill the fucking guy! Oh, wow. Interesting. I need to put together more evidence. Let me search for more data. I'll get back to you. Thank you. Let me know what you find. Well, this is why we're saying I won't do it, and it's a renegade option, because we're literally just like, murder them! It's him! Kill him! Alright, let's hack the terminal in the shop right next to the Asari. Hey guys, you mind if I just use your computer real quick? <gasps> no! It was right there! Gotcha. Data point four. Turian contact working well with the trader. Observer has rescinded kill order against him, given difficulty in securing contact with the trader through other methods. So it's not the Turian. Vorcha trader requested no further contact with Salarian. Salarian becoming more trouble. Observer recommends a kill, but she may have a grudge. Okay. Not yet. Can you short sell on prefabs after these human colony attacks? They're going to see a ton of business. A ton of immediate charity business, followed by a freeze as new colony plans dry up. Just watch. No, no. Come on. You're going to give me two of the same one next to each other? Come on. Come on. Is it this one? It's this one. Data point one, Trader tried to kill the Batarian, claims it was because he hates slavers, but the men were more likely fighting over money. Watch for now. Trader tried to kill the Batarian. Okay. There we go. Run away, you bastards. Give up your colony plans. So any data points around here? Do you have anything flashier? I yeah. want something that says, I own this room. I own you. I'll see what we can do soon. Don't mess with that, Volus. Dial point three. The Turian's asking too many questions. Observer recommends terminating him and framing assassin or Salarian contact. Okay, so it's not the Salarian and it's not the Turian. OK. 
Okay. We haven't heard anything about the Krogan yet. I don't know if there'll be a data terminal in, in this area. Oh, there is. Two blue lines at the top. There you are. And this one. Cool. Data point two. Smuggler and assassin have refused to work with the Vorcher due to lack of trust. Odd to see scruples from the men at this point. So, traitor tried to kill the Batarian. Work with the Vorcher. The Turian's asking too many questions. And the Salarian is becoming more trouble than he's worth. So, it's got to be, the, it's it'll be the Krogan, right? Because we have, like... The Krogan has not been observed, and this is the data from the Observer. Shepard, did you get any information on the Observer? None of the suspects fit? Would it be the Krogan? What if we pick none of the suspects fit? All five of the suspects are male. The oh. Are female. So ah. Who gave you this lead? My assistant. It's Nixeris. Give me the information. Nixeris, could I see you in here for a moment? Shepard, I'll talk to you later. Nixeris is the observer. Did yeah. So I forgot the observer is female. Sorry, I overlooked that detail. We got Paragon options. Uh, so there is a there was a Paragon alternative here by not ordering them to kill someone and not doing it wrong but yeah I was like none of the suspects fit I was like it's either the Krogan but I wasn't super confident and I'm glad that I didn't pick that if this is the best you have I'll make do because I forget there are no female Krogan did you just disintegrate Nixeris she's not even in here <laughs> Shepard, it's good to see you again. Nixeris had some interesting data hidden away. Thank you, Shepard. I wouldn't have caught her without you. I'm one step closer to the Shadow Broker thanks to you. Here, Nixeris was very wow. well compensated. You need it more than I do. Did you have any trouble with Nixeris? She was very talented. I imagine that had she been ordered to assassinate me, I had never seen her coming. But her barriers needed practice. Practice I'm afraid she won't be getting. Well. What's the next step in your hunt? Now I gather information, peel away layers of lies, and shine light into the shadows. And when I find the Shadow Broker, I hit him with a biotic field so strong that what's left of his body will fit into a coffee cup. <sighs> oh my god. Jesus. Is there anything else you need from me? No. You've done enough. If I find anything useful, I'll let you know. For now, I need to do what I do. No. Okay. Is there anything else I can help you with? How's your own work going? I'm still waiting. Still hunting. The Shadow Broker can't hide forever. Even with Nixeris dead, it could be years before I track the Shadow Broker down. But someday he'll slip up. And I'll be there. It won't let me pick those other I'll options. See you later, Liara. It won't let me pick those other Shepherd, options. It's good to see you again. So, what can I do for you? That's a shame, because it was investigate. There was two options, and then there was, you know, our other choices, and I thought that we'd be able to go through that dialogue tree, but it just How's your own I'm work still with even yeah. and I'll be there. It doesn't it doesn't let us. But that's okay. We still later, yeah. we still investigated. Um so that was the that was Liara's missions completed. Um and then we can then pick Lair of the Shadow Broker and pursue that DLC mission uh, later on. So what I'm now going to do is we will reload my uh, Prime save, which is this one here. 
so this was what we completed after doing Miranda's um, loyalty mission, okay? So I now know what happened on, the, on that mission to help Liara out, but of course it is um, in here, it is automatically completed. So we're missing out on like 5,000 credits, like whatever, it's fine. Um, and then we will just not take the cab to Liara's until we do this mission um, later on, okay? So now that we're now that we're up to date, uh, what I can now proceed to do is uh, doing these dossiers, right? So we've got the um, Thane Krios and Samara to check out. Uh, so we're going to go to the transport hub, and we've got to talk to um, Serena. So we'll go to the we'll uh, just go on through and see which which one comes through first. But it looks like we'll run through these dossiers to do some do some recruitment for our team. I'm just glad that I had a save at the beginning of Ilium. This is why I make multiple saves, just in case. Because that was entirely worth it. If I just skipped over that, like, we would never get Liara threatening to disintegrate someone so their remains fit in a coffee cup. <laughs> but it was, it was so good. So good. Um, so if I want to go to the cargo level, I think we're going through this way, yeah, shipping. Run on through. Oh. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. The son of Dantius didn't give us time to pack. Yeah, this is Serena, right? Yeah. Hello. Serena? Who wants ah. to know? Serena. Yeah, I guess, I guess. Serena. I was like. Yeah, Serena. Okay. Serena. Name's Shepard. Fair enough. Liara Tassoni said you might have information on Thane Krios. Serena just made sense Serena. to me. Cover for me. Serena, Serena. Tomato, tomato. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Maybe you could help me find him. <laughs> I can tell you, but you won't stop him. When he contacted me, I checked up on him. The man never gives up on a job. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. Nasana Dantius, I'm pretty sure, was in Mass Effect 1. Pretty sure I remember her. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. Why does that name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years ago. Right. Yep. She had me kill her sister, the slaver. I thought that was just a rumor. Well, you know what she's capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check, and her enemies dead. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower 1. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. It doesn't sound like Nisana is just going to let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. Do you know anything else about Thane? Not much. He did say that he's not doing the hit for money. Nobody hired him. I wanted to know who I was helping, and he said he's doing this job on his own. That he had to restore the balance of his life. I don't know. Maybe he's crazy. If he takes down Nasana, I don't care why he does it. You're just offering your help. No strings attached. You're going to look for Thane. Nasana's mercenaries will try to stop you. At the least, you'll distract her guards. Take a little fire, give Thane a clear shot. I didn't hire him to kill Nasana, but I won't shed any tears when she gets what's coming to her. Let's go then. Good. I'm tired of this crap. We'll go tonight as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. Ready. I get to pick my team now, don't I? 
Cool. Loyal Miranda. Ooh, black version of the suit. I like it. The alternate, the alternate uh, suits are so good. Um, I don't really like Kasumi's that much. Rex's alternate outfit's great. Miranda's is great. Garrus's is cool. Jacob's is kind of like normal. I'm very curious to see what Morden Zaid will get for alternate outfits. Except I can never see Zaid's alternate outfit. And you guys will never let me live it down. <laughs> Um, I would like to take... Oh, you guys are sitting there, positively delighted, being like, Haha, what's he gonna bring for this fight? Because Apocalypse does not have the foresight needed to predict what characters I will need. Um, I'm gonna bring in... Kasumi. And... Uh, Morden. You know, you know, maybe we need more of a subtle approach. That's why we've got um, Kasumi. Weapon damage and health, power recharge time. Ooh, Overload or Master Thief. Master Thief, because I've got other people leveling Overload at the moment. So, I'm fine to do that. You, however, sir... We'll get Lural Neural Shock at some point. Uh, let's do Incinerate. And then I'll save up to max out your Incinerate. I still li I like the Arc Projector the best. I like the Arc Projector the best. Cool. These guys... Uh, actually, these guys are so similar. It's too late, but these guys are so similar with their loadouts. But it's fine. I think we'll be okay. And then I will eat my words, but we'll see. The Incinerate option is really great. And then Kasumi's uh, Shadow Strike is awesome. The towers are heavily guarded and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, this assassin, you planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. Garrus as a sniper could have maybe been cool. This is so awesome to see. This is like Corazon. This is like going through Corazon. Dante's towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. Why don't we just save time and take the shuttle up? She's got mercs with rockets just waiting for you to try. You get maybe halfway up before they shot you down. Besides, your assassin won't go in that way. Best to go in low. Any last minute tips about the towers? The Eclipse Mercs will be well fortified by now, and they won't want to disappoint Nasana. There's no automated defenses or traps, just focus on anything moving. No automated defenses or traps, cool. Yeah, maybe... This music's so cool. I'll commit to my, I'll commit to my team, but I do think that maybe, like, something else might be required. But again, I don't know what to expect. So I am like, oh, we'll, we'll bring some people along for variety. I'm not going to just always take Garrus as much as I want to. All right, let's do but let's let's drop in and let's see how how poorly I perform. <laughs> These cutscenes are so cool. That's literally Corazon, guys. It's as Star Wars as this has ever looked, which I love. Don't linger too long. They'll be here to greet you soon enough. I love the improvements to the cinematics. It's so cool. Good luck, Shepard. Or like to like these cutscene moments. Oh, hang on. Hello. Oh, I've got a shotgun on. That's that's a good. That's we're off to a good start. Alert. 
Let's all of us use our lovely SMGs that we love so much. Burns through armor, sets enemies on fire. Is cryo better against like machines? Freezes enemies. And burns through armor. Maybe we'll we'll keep that on. But I'm not sure. Um you've got Shadow Strike. I have to remember that you've got three abilities that I need to that I need to use. Okay. Yeah, nothing here. Let's go. I think this team will be fine. This team will be alright. Still alive, but unstable. I can't feel my legs. My chest is killing me. Who did this to you? And why? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. It was horrible. Everyone screaming. The Merc said there was no time. Asana wanted us out of the way immediately. Then... <coughs> the dogs... <coughs> Needs medical attention, Commander. Here. That should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. Thank you. That helps. Take your time. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. They're everywhere. Any idea how many mercs Nasana's got? A lot. Dozens of them are wandering around here all day. You'll find more the further up you go. Why would Nisana kill her own workers? To her, we're expendable. But I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friends, co-workers, slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Let's get moving. Oh, I just watched them spawn in. <laughs> Shields have failed. This will help. Next. Oh. Wish I were standing down with. Critical system Focus. Oh. We'll end it quickly. Now you see me. Oh. Oh, I 
Can't get a lock. Can't get a lock. Oh, you're a fucking barrier. Of course you are. All right, he's retreated. That's good. We pushed him away. I was like, of course, the one that we didn't hit has a barrier. Sure thing. Indeed. Going silent. Oh. Wish I was standing downwind. I was stuck on a wall. Oh. Cloaking. Oh. Going dark. Just the thing to help. Yeet. Pretty good synergy. Pretty good synergy. Do a bit of incinerate, a bit of shadow strike, a bit of charge. We'll go get him. You go. Get your ass in there, and the fan is not paying you to stand around. Fine. But I Oh. Oh, it's the the assassin. A block. Can't reach the target. Requesting assistance. Okay, objective. I okay, I see. I love the I love the approach that Mass Effect takes to to music, especially in combat as well. It's nice. Ah, it's a flank. Oh shit! Give me shields. Get me the fuck out. <laughs> Give me shields. Let me go. Something I really love about the charge is the ability to get out of a pretty tense situation by just like zooming on over to someone else. Morden, get up! Morden's funny. Right behind you. Lead the way. Oh, fuck! What a stupid place to stand! I was like, I'm in cover, but I'm like, I'm still getting shot. What a dumb place to stand. <laughs> it's like, yes, this is fine. Silly me. Alright. Let's do that again. Hostile forces have engaged. Now you see me! Just the thing to help. Plane hit! Request 
Cloaking. Oh. Can't do that right now. Cloaking. That is bad. I've destabilized him. Grab a great fire. Oh burn nicely. You got it. Simple enough. Now you see me. Nice. Flammable or inflammable. Forget which. Doesn't matter. Going silent. <laughs> Simple enough. After you. Ah, oh, hang on. Um, wait a minute. Oh God, 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 stay in cover. You guys, get your get your Lucas SMGs Change out. Change weapons. Now you see me. We'll end it quickly. Okay, stand and cover somewhere smarter in this spot. Going dark. Engaging target. Cloaking. Down you go. Nice, Kasumi. <sighs> Hey, Morton. Good spot. Did I do that? Oh. Now you see me. With you. Nice. Sumi's fucking shadow strike is too fucking good. Okay. Can we go in here? Nice. We can bypass this door. I haven't had to do one of these in a while. You're here to help us, right? It's one reason I'm here. Come on out. It's safe enough. Thank you. We are in your debt. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone. Not a merc. He's on his own. Well, whoever sealed us in here. When he found us, I thought we were dead. But he just closed the door and locked us in. Assassin helping potential witnesses. Odd. Assassin? Here for Nasana, I bet. She's got it coming. You treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. I need to get to Nasana's penthouse. What's the quickest way? Cargo elevator is the only way up right now. They're still working up top. Watch your step. Some of the walls aren't in, and it's a long way down. Cold, too. I hate working up there. <laughs> Nasana's not exactly your favorite person. She's a hard woman to work for. That's an understatement. She works us long hours, no overtime, and this is what you get in payment. She's unpleasant, to say the least. I'm very interested in... in... <sighs> Why this? 
Um, Why not just quit? We would if we could. What's stopping you? Our contract. We're stuck until the job's done. Quitting for any reason can be hazardous to your health. We hear that anyone who leaves early tends to disappear. Probably just a rumor. But who wants to find out for sure? I wonder because Morden's a Salarian, like how he feels about this, but we have we're not really getting much dialogue from like these characters. We're not getting much from Kasumias at all. And I'm assuming that's because it's like sort of like a DLC sort of shortcoming. But Morden said like a little bit when we found the first one. It's probably good to it was probably good to bring him along for his dialogue in that one specific moment, maybe. I don't know. Did you see the one who locked you in? Do you know where he might have gone? He's no Solarian, I can tell you that. But I've no idea where he went. Sorry. If he's after Nasana, he'll be heading to the upper levels. How many workers were in the tower? Are there many more of you? Not alive. We were lucky. Well, some got out before the dogs were sent in. Maybe a few are hiding somewhere. I wouldn't stay here too long. It should be safe down on the lower floors. I was just thinking the same thing. Let's go, everybody! Thank you. And tell your assassin to aim for her head. Because <laughs> she doesn't have a heart. Get moving! <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Alright. And kit. Locker. Nice little tucked away door. Oh, hang on, there's stuff down here as well. Hold on. Power cells. Viper sniper rifle. Yo! M97A Viper Sniper Rifle acquired. The following squad members now able to use this weapon. Yes! Got a new sniper. Hell yeah. That's cool. Oh. The one that I need is blocked off. Oh, there it is. It's like the one I need is blocked off by three red ones. Sweet! Alright. Let's head through the main door. What are the odds that elevator's going to be empty when it gets here? Might suggest cover. Very, very smart. Right behind you. Lead the way. Burn the bastard! Watch out! Bounty hunter. That's cool. Enjoy. Check your screen. Light him up. Fuck me. Right. That Krogan was a tough son of a bitch. But I did a good combination of abilities to take him down. The pool was very well timed. My team's always ready to go. I don't know where he is. Not yet. Don't worry about it. We don't need any reinforcements. Fem Shep looks so cool there. She's like, it's under control. I'm ready. Turn around very slowly. Damn it. <laughs> Tell me where the assassin is and I might let you live. If I knew that, I wouldn't be wasting my time talking to you. You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? You got two ways down, express or coach. Your choice. Look, pal, even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot... How about goodbye? <laughs> I felt like being a renegade. <laughs> uh, I felt like being a renegade. I'm sorry. We have no reason to be nice to the Eclipse Mercs, dude. 
See, the data pad will give us all we need. I had a, like... I feel like we we're gonna end... He was gonna end up being killed anyway. We've killed countless mercs before it, so... Storage disk holds the genetic information for the Carosa family. Oh. Find a solarium on Ilium looking for the Carosa family data. That's the dude on the phone. Alright. That dude was gonna die anyway. We just gave him the we just gave him the express ticket. Reports of him on multiple levels. We think he's traveling through the ducts. I'm not paying you to think. Just find him now. Come on. Uh. She'll be throwing us to the dogs next. They get activated like battle droids. They're in the same like crouch position as Star Wars battle droids. That's so cool. What the? Yeah. Thought so. Oh. Backup systems engaged. Wait. Oh. Yep. Oh. <laughs> God, the slow motion screamings is like just the greatest shit. Check your screams. Engaging to can't get apart. You're dead. Now you see me. Can do it. See, I think that was a much more brutal death than pushing that dude out the window. Like, imagine, like, Shepard just fucking Dragon Ball Z, like, charging right into you. Fucking, uh, Morden setting you on fire. Me shooting you in the face with an incendiary around and you burning to death. <laughs> Instead of pushing a dude out the window. <laughs> Much more brutal way to go, I think. I'm afraid your men aren't able to respond, Nasana. This will be an, this will be an interesting reunion to uh, with Nasana, won't it? Because we helped her out before. Now we're going to ensure that our assassin succeeds in his mission. Requesting assistance in the battle system. As you wish. Go to help. Engaging target. Resupply opportunity. I guess that's if we had a sniper character. We could then put on that sniper that we just picked up. I love that Mass Effect was like, what if we made Corazon? So good. Forget the explosives, he's already past us! Nice. That was my intention. I love Morden's incinerability, it's great. Uh, 
sorry, Commando ain't shit. Oh shit, man. Right into hacking the PDA. Thought I was going to be picking up the submachine upgrade first, but I got ahead of myself there, apparently. Twelve thousand credits, dude. We can use this. Nice. Submachine gun damage. I need to go back to the Normandy computer and upgrade them because I haven't put any of my recent upgrades in. I'm such an idiot. That was too risky. Under cover. This is so cool. Pin down. Can we destroy these or do we have to just run? What the hell am I paying you for? I'm sending out Rocket drone. Harmony for the rest of us. Nobody runs. <sighs> Fucking god. Shh. Hold on a minute. There we go. Mm. I need to get in there. Got it. Not a problem. Shit, dude. Getting stuck on an object. Focus fire on my target. Gotcha. Team, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all that you have worked so hard to achieve. Done. Hello, Nisana. Shepard, but you're dead. I got better. <laughs> to kill me. You're dead. You're really paranoid, aren't you? Don't patronize me, Shepard. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister, and now you're here for me. <laughs> well, you made it this far. Now what? You really think I'm here to kill you? Do you have another reason for destroying my tower? Decimating my security? 
I'm just looking for someone. You expect me to believe that? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. Make me an offer. Double whatever you're getting. And I'll pay double again if you tell me who hired you. What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You Everyone's so nervous. When I'm Here he is. With this nuisance, you and I are going to... <laughs> oh, wow. Impressive. Hello, Thane Krios. I've seen your species on an iPad last episode. With Liara. I was wondering when you'd show up. He was here the whole time. That was impressive. <laughs> Hello? I was hoping to talk to you. I apologize. But prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. Wow. Do you really think she deserves it? Not for her. For me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. How'd you know I was coming at all? I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. I respect it. Let's cut to the chase. I need you for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. They told me it was impossible to get to Ilos, too. A fair point. You built a career on performing the impossible. This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. You're dying? Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. I hadn't heard that. Is there anything I can do? Giving me this opportunity is enough. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough, and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. That was one of the coolest scenes in the game so far. 100%. That was so cool. The way that he talks with like the cinematic angles that were chosen, I was just like so good. That was a uh, that was a really that was a really good scene and I instantly I'm like, "Wow, Thane Krios is a cool dude. I want him on my team." <laughs> He's sweet. Recruited Thane Krios for the team, but medically questionable unless mission is resolved quickly. Legal representatives dealing with public damage to Dantius Towers. Cool. I like that. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Jacob, I'm not going to take your side here, so you need to check yourself, bro. Thane's cooler than you are. 
Okay. Obviously he is too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. <laughs> We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah, and he may not. All right, Jacob. All right, back on the Normandy, which is good. I have a chance to talk to a bunch of people, which I need to do, um, and do some research and talk to Edie, because we haven't spoken to Edie in a while, and that was because I assumed that she was more of a, what's this place of the ship? And then, all of my information is classified, so that's why we stopped talking to her. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. I think we have to talk to her in um, the cockpit that's with, all for now. with Joker. You out, Shepherd. So I'll, I'll talk to her in the cockpit with Joker. Tech lab, research terminal, weapon upgrades, SMG shield piercing. Yes, yes, and yes. Nice. Okay, armor upgrades, bite at cooldown. Needs E zero. I need to go on a bit of a. I need to go on a bit of a um, hunt. Uh, materials which can be done with E0 as well. I think E0 is on gas giants that have like moderate like um, stuff from what I've seen in the comments. Um, and then uh, everything else is easier to get. I might grab biotic cooldown. Heavy bone we Shepard takes 50% less damage from melee attacks. Why not? Okay. Now let's talk to some people. Shepard, important news. No, you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember our talk? My work on genophage modification? I'm pretty sure that this is his um, loyalty mission. You stopped the Krogan adaptation to the genophage. Part of a team. Scientists, all different types. Blood pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. Do you think they found out your team updated the genophage? Unclear. No way to determine until we get to Tuchanka. We'll go to Tuchanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my... Student want to see him safe. Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pack. Talk to them or Clan Chief. Erdnot territory. A Krogan DMZ. Hmm. That's something to ponder. That is something to ponder, is it not? Still need to get to Tuchanka, Shepard. My students being held by blood pack. I can't talk to him about anything else until we do the loyalty mission, then. I'll talk to you later, Morden. We'll be here if you need me. Okay. So, if someone has a loyalty mission, dialogue seems pretty uh, closed off. Until you actually do the thing. I don't know what to feel about Grunt. My psych reports were for Oak here. We have no guarantees that Grunt is mentally stable. I get the feeling he just doesn't care about anything, including who lives or dies. Don't worry, Kelly. I wouldn't let him touch you. If there's any touching being done, you'd better be involved. Anyway, what's up? <laughs> is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. 
Garrus received some news that put fire in his eyes. Maybe you should speak with him down in the main battery. Jack would like to see you down in her hidey hole on the engineering deck. Grunt seems very anxious, pacing down in the cargo hold. You might want to check in on him. Anything else, Commander? When you have so many loyalty missions to do that it's just like this list of everybody's pretty anxious. Garrus has finished his calibrations. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need him. Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. Guardian Angels from Anara Lawson. I hope this is the right Commander Shepard. I'm Oriana. My sister only told me a little, but I don't think it occurred to her that I'm as smart as she is. I poked around a little and found an information broker who got me this address. I got to thank her, but I never got to thank you for helping me. My parents don't really understand it, but I know how much Miranda did, how much, how many little things over the years were her looking out for me. I'm not going to tell them. I still want to go to school and get some degrees, but I wanted you to know that I know you saved me. I had a guardian angel all these years. I don't know if my sister has anybody. She said that she's working for you, and it was pretty clear that you were doing something dangerous. Make sure she comes back alive, okay? Ariana, don't tell her I sent you this. It would just make her angry. Miranda, quit looking at Shepard's messages. Oh, don't act like you don't. It's what I'd do. <laughs> uh, amazing. So Ariana checking in with us. That's great. Thank you from Leslie. I'm Leslie. I was on air. Uh, the food made me sick. The doctors are helping me now. One doctor knows Jacob. He says he can tell you this. He could write this for me, but I want to do it. I need to use my words. My words are coming back. I can talk well. Reading is hard, but I'm getting better. I have to get better. Taylor wanted me like this. He wanted my words gone. I have to show him that he lost. I am not weak. He did things to me, and he can't now. He can't take away my words. He can't make me not me anymore, because you and Jacob stopped him. Thank you, Leslie. That's awesome. Mr. Gunnock, dear sir or madam, having consulted with my colleagues at the Citadel, I have the privilege to request for your assistance to transfer a large quantity of Prothean technology uncovered at Ilos. Believing these materials to be a hazardous danger, they were locked in quarantine. Even though the tests revealed that the fears were groundless, the quarantine remains in effect until one can pay for a permit to request a reclassification from the Cultural Ministry. Knowing of your interest in Prothean technology, I would be happy to deliver most of it into your hands, keeping less than half of myself. As a Batarian, I cannot engage in council official activities, but if you transfer the 20,000 credits required to me, this exchange can be made in your name, enabling us both to profit from this happy accident. Please reply urgency, uh, urgently with your credit transfer account information. Is this a spam email? Welcome, please. We have a glorious amount of Prothean technology for you. Please enter your credit details and the three digits on the back and we'll send it over immediately. From Lisbeth Bainham. Hey Shepard. I heard about what you did on Ilium and wanted to thank you for helping out Zeus Hope one more time. We're surviving, if barely. Uh, most of Exogeny left, but I stayed behind as a Natasha, um, and to make sure that nothing was left of the Thorian. We don't need that problem again. Also, I'm really, really sorry when, that I shot at you. I'm pretty sure I said that, but I just wanted to reiterate it. Good luck and thanks. Zeus Hope is alive again because of what you did. Sincerely, Lisbeth Bainham. Cool. Good stuff. And that's where Thane is. Ooh, he, he's got sunglasses! His alternate has appearance as sunglasses. Instant cool. Love that. Uh, let's talk to Joker and Edie while we're here. Does that mean in our journal? Yeah, Garrus. Eye for an eye. I want to do it immediately, but at the same time, I have to work through the rest of my list first. <laughs> Oh, another dangerous alien aboard, Commander. Thanks. Why can't you collect coins or commemorative plates or something? I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. Okay, so we've definitely gone through all of the dialogue for the cockpit. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. What do you think That's about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. No surprise, Morden acts superior to everyone. Like he's got tenure at FU. Not like Kasumi, but why do I feel... It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I'm installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. Okay. 
We've got that before. Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of. We got this before. That is an acronym. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum. We got this before. Behind the medical. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare. I call we got this too. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship to ship combat. Once I seize control of their systems, on the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Yeah, pretty Sounds sure. incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react. This is a role that can only oh, be... Oh, might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization. Just putting it out there. Yeah, we've, we've, we've had these conversations before. What monitoring devices... Uh, an additional function struck about it being classified. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board. He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my data. I assume mm -hmm. that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Certain unknown conditions are met. So there you Let's go. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? Yeah, this is... She doesn't have anything new for us. You know, everyone, like, I've had people be like, speak to Edie, she's a crew member. We... I don't know if you guys missed it in an earlier episode, but we went through all of this dialogue and everything is like, this is all classified, and the stuff that wasn't classified we spoke to her about. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. Yeah, we've... Now. Logging you out, we've, we've spoken to Edie, right? If there's anything new specifically that I'm missing in those dialogue trees that I haven't already gone over in an earlier episode, then, then let me know, but we really have gone through those, those points with Edie already. Let's talk to Jacob, Mr. Mr. Suki Pants, who doesn't like Thane. Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. Maybe not the best way to learn about the relatives, but I'm glad it's done. What do you need? I'm interested in getting to know you better. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. How we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? Doing good. But good is just as dead as bad, if I understand the threat. How long can we last with collectors going wherever they want? Anything else, Commander? What do you think of the state of the crew? Yeah. Unless all distractions are removed, loyalty to the mission will suffer. Run this team through hell, and all we're getting is burned. Anything else, Commander? <laughs> okay, bud. That's a bit of an opinion. Jesus. We'll talk later. Commander. Okay. And we've already been in here. Alright. We'll go on to another level. Pretty sure my fish are dead. So uh, I need to go and buy some more fish. <laughs> I'm 100% certain my fish are dead. <gasps> They're alive! But I've got new fish. Because I bought them. On, um... That's cool. My fish are alive. And we've done multiple missions, so I guess the sometimes they die, sometimes they don't. Because I haven't fed them since before Ilium, and we've done multiple missions on Ilium, so maybe it's maybe what it means is just every time that you come back to the Normandy, you need to feed the fish. So if you complete multiple missions on the same planet, that's fine. But we have another species of fish now because we bought them on Ilium, which is nice. I like that. What's this? Oh, it's the relic that we got. Huh. <laughs> That's cool. Look at our ship collection. Ship collection is nice. 
Got a space hamstone. Sweet. Squeak. <laughs> All right, fish fed. That's fine. Uh, let's go talk to. Uh, let's go to the cruise quarters. We'll talk to everyone in the cruise quarters. All right. Life support is where Thane will be. Nice. Do you need something? Look at his cool outfit with his glasses. <laughs> have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other drow. It's called Keprel syndrome. Keprel syndrome. Are you going to be all right till the end of the mission? I should be fine for another eight to twelve months. The more time I spend in human environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. Interesting. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Wow. Can't they do something about that? The Hanar have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. Then don't live on Kaje, or use breathers. Drill have a close relationship with the Hanar. We rely on each other. The best we can do is keep our homes very dry inside. Wow. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar illuminated primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. Drell are an omnivorous reptile-like humanoids with an average lifespan of 85 years. They give live birth to their young, capable of eating solid food from the moment they are born. Drell appearance very similar to Asari and humans. Their muscle tissue is slightly denser, giving them a wiry strength. A three-chambered heart. I love the lore surrounding everything in this game. It's incredible. Hyoid bone in their throats, which allows them to inflate their throats and produce vocal sounds outside of the human range. Would be assassins have noted these two features make Drell extremely hard to strangle or suffocate. Disease had become resistant to our antibiotics and other advanced treatments. Death is slow but imminent. The Drell homeworld of Rakana once teemed with life. Its arid plains home to spectacular insect and reptile analogs. But the Drell took to industrialization early and did not realize the extent of the environmental damage they caused until it was too late. With their topsoil depleted and oceans too acidic to sustain life, Drell were situated for a massive population crash by 2025 CE. It was then the Hanar stepped in, mounting a large-scale rescue operation to bring Drell to the Hanar homeworld, Kaje. As wars erupted over what resources remained on Rakana and billions began to die, approximately 375,000 Drell escaped in the Exodus. To repay their debt, the Drell entered into an agreement with the Hanar. Called the Compact, it states that the Drell would assist the Hanar with tasks the Hanar cannot physically perform. Today, high-ranking Hanar are frequently inseparable from their Drell attendants. Cool. 2025 CE. Um, ba -ba -ba, four points. Um, I might put more into pull. But I'm wondering if I want to also get 
Salt Mastery. Faster, faster, and more powerful. More health, more weapon damage, power recharge time, Paragon Renegade. Yeah, I like that. We'll do a Salt Mastery. Okay. Do you need something? You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the Collectors. You have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Let's see what they've got. Ten prototypes, right? No? Maybe we can't afford it. Is there anything in here? Shepherd to reallocate points. New heavy weapon. Muscle wave, advanced training. Hundred percent probe capacity and additional probes. Med bay upgrade. There might be that. Regardless, I can't afford anything yet. Let me know if you want to pursue that. You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not I have to all. come back. To, I have to come back to him later. The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes, I know many think the Hanar are difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. Hanar talk using bioluminescence. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. True. Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black, but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. Interesting. When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with Emonkira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, goddess of motherhood and protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, goddess of oceans and the afterlife. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. Oceans and afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider. The ocean is full of life, yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land, accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. Thane has really good, Thane has really good dialogue. I love, I love what he says. Love what he says. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. No, no, we're fine. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. We, we will come back to you later, my friend. We will come back to you later. When I have money to afford upgrades. Alright. Crew quarters is these guys. Chilling out. Can't go to the starboard observation deck yet. Edie will tell us off if we go into the, the toilet. Just talk to Kasumi. Hey, Shepard. Liara Tassoni's got quite a reputation. I've done business with her people before. I hear you and she were an item before. I bet it was hard running into her again after all this time. My heart goes out to Miranda and her sister. That's a rough situation. Jacob deserves better than a father like that. I probably would have wanted to shoot him too. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. 
Okay. Go have a chat to Miranda. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Ariana in time without your help. And you proved yourself trustworthy. Unlike Niket, I'm glad I got to take him out myself. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life and the freedom to choose her own path. And she knows she has an older sister. A friend. Are you gonna talk to her again? I honestly don't know. For once I haven't planned that far ahead. I'll deal with it after our mission. I have to stay focused and she needs time to adjust to her new home. You never told me what you talked about. I introduced myself. Her family was shocked. She adjusted quickly, of course. She's as smart as I am. She plays the violin, loves the adagio movement of Nielsen's fifth, just like I do. She wants to work in colony development. Told a joke about it. She's really funny, something we don't share. Let me know if I can do anything else. I think I got it from here. My father has no chance at finding her family in their new location. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again, thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. Cool. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Cool. So follow up on the loyalty mission. How can I help you, Commander? Do you have everything you need? Absolutely. Since you set up my kitchen with proper supplies, thanks again. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Garrus! I hope you're done with your calibrations, you bitch. Talk to me. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got Ooh. something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel, name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. Mm -hmm. What happened? How did Sidonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs, told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Anything for you, sir? He's finally done with his calibrations. Oh, I wonder if that means we can... Oh, no, because we've accepted the loyalty mission. Now all we can do is get reminded of the loyalty mission, similar to Morden. Um, okay. Now let's go to engineering. Talk to our other crew members. Grunt's got a loyalty mission to talk about. Yo. He's anxious. Amber said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong. Tense. I just want to kill something. With my hands. More so than usual. Like it's not my choice. Like I just want to... I don't know. See? Why do that? What's wrong? Okir didn't imprint anything to help you figure this out? I see pictures of old battles. Voices of warlords. But this is a blood haze in my head. I want 
of control. We were moving, fighting, I focus. But here my blood screams, my plates itch, and even you were just noise. I'm tankborn. What is this? In a Krogan opinion. Don't know if I can help, Grunt. Sounds like we need one of your kind to look into this. Most off-world Krogan are warriors. Doctors don't leave the homeworld to Junka. I won't ask you to go there. I will control this. Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. Okay. Krogan homeworld. So we've got two things to do with Tuchanka, both with Grunt and Morden. Let's talk to Zaid. Mr. Mr. Not Loyal. Mr. Not Loyal, how are you today, sir? Shepard, I was just waxing goddamn nostalgic. Tough fight on horizon. I fought slavers and kidnapping rings, but nothing like that. Some slavers took a little girl on a colony in the Skepsis system. Girl woke up, fought her way out, got picked up by my band while on her way to Omega. Eight years old. She'd have had no chance on Horizon. Can't say I blame Taylor's pop. A man does what he has to do to survive. Ran up against a Batarian camp, not too different from that one. Job was to erase the whole thing from the map. Men, women, and the man in charge. Learned that day that despots are cowards. You show them you're in charge, not them, and they cry like little girls. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Okay. I hear that Rupert is actually cooking some good meals lately. Yeah, right. That scunner couldn't serve a good haggis if his life depended on it. But all haggis tastes like ass anyway. Aye, but in the right hands, it can taste like mighty fine ass. <laughs> I wonder who's going to chill here. Someone's obviously going to hang out there. Jack! Oh God. We have a is do we have a loyalty mission for for Jack? Yeah, we do. Subject zero. Yo. I got thoughts like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes. I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man. Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some superbiotic. The doctors, the other kids, every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't going to see it. I was wired up in a cell. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is a little girl crying in a cell, begging for the pain to stop. You love the power they gave you. They never gave me a choice. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground. Drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me, then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them. But there's a loose end I need to deal with. Mm hmm. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? 
I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. I'm going to talk to the elusive man and he'd better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place myself. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. Attacking our allies is going to derail our mission. Not a smart move. The files say it was shut down after my escape. It's been abandoned for years. They going to care if I blow up a garbage dump? <laughs> You've lived with this your whole life. Why do this now? Like I said, I found the coordinates in your files. You can't expect me to just sit on information like that. I'll set a course for Pragia. I owe you, Shepard. Okay. It's another loyalty mission on the list to get through. I need to get to Pragia, Shepard. Soon. I'll think about that. Meanwhile, I have to go. Yep. Yep. All right. Yeah. Shepard really does get stuck on things quite easily. Okay. Head back up to the CIC. So we've had a chat to everybody. Uh, we've got loyalty missions prepped. Every, like we got five. We got five loyalty missions ready to go. We've got Tali's dossier. Uh, dossier for the Justicar, uh, which we're going to be doing next. Um, and then Lair of the Shadowbreaker we'll do at some point in time. Uh, Arrival and Overlord is DLC as well. It almost makes me think like the Lair of the Shadowbreaker should have got put in assignments as DLC and it should like be labeled as such. It would make it so much more easier uh, for me to like not forget. <laughs> um... Let's go to Ilium and return these things, because we found the locket, and we also found the Salarian data, and that's the Asari and the Salarian both on on the phone, because we need to go back down to Ilium anyway. So I'll, I'll jump us in. Take us back down to Ilium. And return, return these items. Not really going to be... We're able to pick up people again, anyway, so... Before a mission, I just want to pick these guys so I can put some points in. Drell Assassin, combat skills, and throw. So you've got a powerful biotic field as well. Nice. Uh, Flaying a single enemy with unparalleled momentum, smashing it against walls in hurricane force, and your mastery bike throws allows you to hurl multiple targets into the, into the air. So three, yeah, let's do field, and then damages enemy targets, stop health regeneration. Don't see any biotic powers already affecting the target, causing further damage. You can upgrade to... You've already got the Viper now. Okay, you've already upgraded. Automatically. Uh, you're also a sniper, because of course you are. So you're both of snipers. Wonderful. My cool looking... My cool looking alien boys. Okay, I love that when we first arrived here, I was like, Oh, it's like Cloud City. And then I was like, Oh, it's like Corazon. And it's like a mixture of both. I love it. Pardon me, I'm dealing with damn Ilium travel bureaucracy. Were you trying to get them to help you find this locket? Oh, Stephen, thank you. Thank you so much. My daughter was young when he died. 
This is the only memento she has of him. Please accept this. It's much less than I would have had to pay the bureaucrats to authorize a search. Okay, so that was this. That was this Asari. But there's another Asari that was on the phone. After these human colony attacks. They're going to see I spent the last two years here. I had a purpose, a goal. Now that I've accomplished it, something occurs to me. In all that time, I never looked at the horizon. It is spectacular. Nice. So every time, every time I come to this place as well, I can like take different members and ask their opinions on the balcony because we did Garrus and Miranda last time. Listen, I know. What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. I overheard you talking. Is this the data you're looking for? The Corosa Generational Archive. You found it. Thank you. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. Why is this data so important, anyway? It's a genetic history for the entire Corosa family. It's used for high-level reproductive negotiations. It would be like a human... pedigree, I suppose. Without it, you're bargaining from a greatly weakened position. Losing this would have hurt my family for generations, maybe even destroyed it. If this data is so important, why didn't you have backups? We did. A rival family introduced a computer virus and our techs were sloppy. The virus destroyed all our data. I just spent a fortune getting the data recovered and reconstructed when Nasana went crazy. We live in a world of infinite data redundancy. To lose something so important because of one crazy Asari? There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. Cool. Wonderful. So we've returned, returned that, which is great. Uh, and then I think we will, we will end this episode here. So we'll, we'll wrap this one up. Next episode, uh, what we're going to get into is uh, we will continue our mission on Ilium. So we'll do the dossier for the Justicar, do a recruitment mission. And then, uh, depending on what we have time for, we'll probably jump into uh, getting some loyalty missions done, which is going to be which is going to be very nice. This game is like so much bigger than uh, than the first one, which is crazy. Around around this time, well, uh, in Mass Effect One, we pretty much finished the game, <laughs> so it's really cool that it's just so much more expansive, so many more characters, so much more to get into. Uh, so, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time when we'll get another member of. Of our team and uh, hopefully get some loyalty <laughs> happening on our on our squad so I will see you then